Hello guys, welcome back to another new lab. First of all, click on Start Lab and open Console Incognito window. Now here, if you are new to this channel, like the video and subscribe the channel. When I understand, here you have to just activate the cloud shell. First of all, we will deploy an application. So activate the cloud shell now wait for the cloud shell to activate you will be prompted to click on continue and then authorize yourself now you have to go to the lab instruction and open this paste here so basically first we need to download the files so first we will download the files from bucket and then we will unzip it and then go to the directory so now here we will go to another hello world directory so finally we are in hello world directory where we will be deploying the app so first we need to update the python version 37239 now we need to deploy and for region to check the lab instruction it updates periodically we have to basically enter the numeric digit so in my case it is europe west so it will be one and it may be different depending on the lab instruction so when you hit check more progress you won't get score because the app has not been deployed yet now we have to add configure the consent scheme on task number two so now wait finally the app has been deployed now here we will move to the next part that is configuring the consent screen now we will be moving to the lab instruction and hitting check my progress so let's go ahead so again hit check my progress so finally we got the score now we have to open identity aware proxy so copy the name from here and on the search box just type it and select the first one so now you can either close this or minimize it now first of all you need to click on enable the api so click on enable api now you have to click on go to identity aware proxy so for that click on the link mentioned here now click on configure consent screen it will open a new page and here we have to add the app name and username and email contacts so scroll down and click on get started now here you need to close the cloud shell because we don't need cloud shell for now so now for the app name enter iap app and here the app will be internal type so it's internal <coughs> now contact information is the email now click on create so after that we will disable the app engine api so for that go back to the cloud shell from first session so just run it now we have to turn on iap for app engine app so you can open it in new tab or just copy the url from here and paste so better you should do simple method like let me show you type here identity aware proxy as you can see here is the option click on it
Now here wait for the page to fully load. Now click on this toggle icon and turn on IAP. So finally we have turned on IAP. Now we have to add a user. So for that copy the username and we will be adding permission and policy. So click on app engine app. Now from here click on add principal. Enter the lab username and for rules assign it cloud IAP web app user. Now you have to click on save and wait for this policy to update. It will take one to two minutes. Now let's hit check my progress. So wait for some time and hit check my progress because it takes time to update our score. Now how will access the information. So for that you need to run this on the cloud shell. Now here we will update the version again. And then we will redeploy the app. So here if you task for region check the lab for it and then click Y and hit enter. Now here hit check in progress you will get the score once the app is deployed. So finally the app has been deployed successfully now we'll hit check my progress you will get the score without any issue now here we have to do a very important step that is cy graphic visualization so first of all go to the directory and update the version of python now again deploy the app Click on Y and then hit enter. Now wait for this to deployment to complete and we will be done with the lab guys. So finally it's done after 5 to 10 minutes. So now we will move forward to the lab instruction and if you are new to this channel, do like the video and subscribe the channel and check the playlist for other labs. So as you can see we got the score without any issue and we are done with the lab. So like share and subscribe the channel and I will see you guys in the next one.